Hello dear students, I am Dr. Moin. In this video we are going to discuss about evolved gas analysis and this is part 1. During various techniques of thermal methods of analysis, we have seen that there are different gaseous products which are evolved from time, time to time. We might be interested to know to analyze those gaseous products. So in this technique, we are going to learn how to analyze those evolved gases. So here are the contents of current video. We'll see the introduction of technique. Then we'll see the definition of evolved gas analysis. Then we'll see its instrumentation. And we'll see the various physical methods and chemical methods for the analysis of evolved gases during these phenomena during this process so first of all introduction in interpreting the mass losses in thermogravimetry or the peaks in DTA we could not identify the products from that technique alone for example we are studying thermogravimetry so we have put our sample and we are heating it and we are monitoring its weight so weight is going to loss with the passage of time so definitely there are some products which are being evolved from the sample in the form of gases and we are just measuring the weight means thermogravity only enables us to measure the weight of the sample now what products are being emitted we don't know about that so we might be interested to know what type of material what, what type of gases are evolved from the sample those thermal analysis techniques were not capable of differentiating between an endothermic loss due to solvent or a decomposition reaction or a physical processes like vaporization and these losses these gases which are emitted from the sample they might be due to some solvent, some decomposition reaction or a physical processes like vaporization. So we very often need to identify the gases or vapors involved in the thermal process. But we must be most careful that they are not changed by further reaction or delayed by condensation or transfer lag. So if we are interested to know about the evolved product, the evolved gases, so we must also be careful about that these product is not changed with the passage of time because their nature could be changed due to some further reaction or by condensation or in the process of transfer lag, etc. So here is the definition of this technique. Evolved gas analysis is a technique in which the nature and or the amount of gas or vapors evolved from the sample is monitored against time or temperature. While the temperature of the sample in a specified atmosphere is programmed, means the sample is kept in the instrument, the atmosphere is properly defined the temperature is programmed so definitely there is changings in our sample there is the evolution of gases and the nature and amount of those gases are analyzed in this technique so this is called evolved gas analysis and now we will learn about various types of instrumentation being used for evolved gas analysis So there are many ways in which the evolved gases may be detected and identified. For general thermal decomposition work, a large sample of several grams may be heated in a furnace in a flowing gas stream using a control temperature program. So we, we have already gone through this process in various techniques of thermal methods of analysis. The products can be collected by passing the gas through an absorber or through a cold trap or through a series of specific gas detectors. 
So uh, here are the methods of collection of products which is in the form of gas. So we can make it absorb in some sort of absorber or in some coal trap where we have put some sort of detectors to detect what is the nature of gases evolved during the process. McNeil has developed the technique of thermal volatilization analysis TVA and what is done in it? Here the sample is heated in vacuum and the pro products are progressively condensed. So in result of heating the sample, the products, the various types of products are there and these may be differentiated from each other as the non-volatile residue or remaining in the oven or some part which may be the high boilers or maybe the like vexes and less volatile oils or some product may be condensed on the walls and other may be the volatiles which are passing onto the traps for condensation at lower temperatures so these are different types of products in the apparatus it is at an advantage to control the conditions by using a thermal analysis technique to provide the heating so we know that in the during the process the temperature is properly programmed so in thermogravimetry so thermogravimetry has been widely used for this and the gases evolved from the th thermal balance are conducted away into other analytical devices for the analysis of evolved gases during the process. So here is the schematic diagram of thermogrammetry and evolved gas analysis system. So you can see here is the compartment in which there is furnace and uh, here is sample compartment where sample is put here is carrier gas in here is carrier gas out to maintain the environment of inside the compartment then through the furnace the heat is provided to the sample and there are the changes in the sample and the products are emitted in the form of gases and here is the heated gas line so uh, the gases are not made to evolve in the atmosphere and actually these are made to move through this heated gas line which is moved into here in this compartment where are the sensors some conductometric or pH or calor calorimetric methods by which evolved gases are analyzed or there might be some absorbers which may absorb the gases and further they are analyzed we may classify the various methods for, for detection or identification of evolved gases under three headings. Number one is physical methods which may be based upon conductivity or density. Number two is the chemical methods which is based upon reactions, color indication or electrochemical properties. And number three is the spectroscopic methods like mass spectrometry, infrared spectroscopy, etc. So let's start with physical methods. The various sensitive detectors of gases which are being used in gas chromatography are often added to thermal analysis unit to detect evolved gases. For example, the DSC instrument could be fitted with a thermal conductivity detector TCD to show changes in the gas streams. Another example is flame ionization detectors FID which have been used to detect gases evolved directly from the heated plastic materials as well as gases separated by gas chromatography so these detectors can also be used over here but the problems with these detector is that these detectors are unable to detect water vapors or carbon dioxide which are the frequent evolved material in thermal methods of analysis 
So the gases evolved during these thermal methods may be absorbed into a suitable solvent. For example, water vapors may be absorbed into dioxin or organic vapors may be absorbed into some oil. And the change can be followed by monitoring the electrical conductance or capacitance of the solution or the solution may be analyzed by some chromatographic methods. Another, another technique and which is the moisture evolution analyzer MEA which is shown below. The moisture evolved from the heater is transferred by the nitrogen carrier gas into electrolytic cell detector where it is absorbed by phosphorus penta oxide which is hygroscopic in nature and this phosphorus penta oxide it is coated onto the platinum electrodes so water vapors are absorbed over here then this water is electrolyzed to hydrogen and oxygen which are carried away by gas stream and the electrolysis current generated in this way is integrated which gives the amount of water directly so in this way the concentration of water evolve water vapors evolved from that process may be detected some more equipments to detect water vapors are shown over here the capacitance moisture probe which is shown on the left below left so the capacitance moisture probe has metal electrodes surrounding a hygroscopic dielectric layer which rapidly reaches equilibrium with the water vapor pressure and changes the capacitance of the cell so by the change in capacitance we can detect the presence of water and it's we can detect what is the quantity of water vapors next equipment is the d point instrument which is shown on the right it has also been used to detect water and there are there may be difficulties with these instruments due to a slow non-linear response to the moisture So second method for the analysis of evolved gases is the chemical methods. In these methods, the chemical reaction of gases is performed with the reagents or detectors, which, is, which are specific to their chemical nature. So it's a simple method of de detecting gases. So the gases which are evolved during the process, they are made to react with some specific reagents and in this way they are detected for example the evolution of acidic gases like HCl from heated polyvinyl chloride or phthalic anhydride from polyester resins can be detected and quantified by absorbing the evolved gas which is HCl in solvent like an aqueous alkali and measuring the change in the pH of the solution or by the change in color of an indicator or even it can be measured by the use of some titrimetric methods then another example is carbon dioxide so carbon dioxide evolved from heated concretes can be dissolved and reacted with dilute aqueous barium hydroxide and the reaction followed by conductance measurement so in this way carbon dioxide is mayor. Many gases may be identified by the use of dredger tubes which are shown below over here. These contain reagents specific to particular gases which change color when they react with that gas and a semi-quantitative measurement of the gas concentration may be made by the use of these dredger tubes. For electrochemical detection, electrodes sensitive to species like metal ions, chlorides, fluorides and cyanide ions 
and gas sensing membrane membrane electrodes for such gases like carbon dioxide nitrogen dioxide hydrogen sulfide sulfur dioxide and ammonia so these type of electrodes are available the gas sensing electrodes operate by establishing an equilibrium between the gas in the solution outside the electrode and the electrode membrane which then equilibrates with the internal solution and internal electrode system Echolometric detector is also being used to monitor sulfur dioxide evolution during coal combustion studies. The coal is burnt in a thermogravimetric apparatus which is connected through an oxidation furnace to a colometric cell. So during this process if any sulfur compound evolved so that is oxidized to sulfur dioxide and which is then titrated with iodine and in this way the amount of sulfur dioxide is is analyzed so dear students this is all about the first part of evolved gas analysis hope you do understand it so if you like my video then like it and subscribe my channel to get in touch with my upcoming videos so thanks for watching. Thank you very much.